Welcome to Nursing Prep. Push yourself in nursing preparation with smart way. Cardiovascular drugs. Which of the following clients is at greatest risk for digital toxicity? Option A. A 25-year-old client with congenital heart disease. Option B. A 50-year-old client with CHF. Option C. A 60-year-old client after myocardial infarction. Option D. An 80-year-old client with CHF. Right answer is. Option D. An 80-year-old client with CHF. Extremely old clients are at greater risk for digitalis toxicity. Remember when it comes to adversity, the very old and very young are always at highest risk. Which of the following is a contraindication for digoxin administration? Option A. Blood pressure of 140-90. Option B. Heart rate above 80. Option C. Heart rate below 60. Option D. Respiratory rate above 20. Right answer is. Option C. Heart rate below 60. The apical heart rate must be monitored during therapy with digoxin, and the drug held for pulse below 60 and above 120. Remember that digoxin lowers the heart rate, therefore, the choice that reflects a low heart rate is the best selection. The action of medication is in a tropic when it. Option A. Decreased after load. Option B. Increases heart rate. Option C. Increases the force of contraction. Option D. Is used to treat CHF. Right answer is. Option C. Increases the force of contraction. Inotropic drugs increase the force of contraction. Preload, not afterload, is decreased. Chronotropic drugs increase heart rate. Treatment of CHF is an indication for use not an action of inotropic drug. Which is the most appropriate action for the nurse to take before administering digoxin? Option A. Monitor potassium level. Option B. Assess blood pressure. Option C. Evaluate urinary output. Option D. Avoid giving with thiazide diuretic. Right answer is. Option A. Monitor potassium level. Monitoring potassium is especially important because hypokalemia potentiates digoxin toxicity. B and C are incorrect because these data reflect overall CV status but are not specific for digoxin. Choice D are drugs usually administered with digoxin. The therapeutic drug level for digoxin is Option A 0.1 to 2.0 nanograms slash mg. Option B 1.0 to 2.0 nanograms slash mg. Option C 0.1 to half a nanogram slash mg. Option D 0.5 to 2.0 nanograms slash mg. Right answer is Option D 0.5 to 2.0 nanograms slash mg. This is the correct therapeutic range for digoxin. Every nurse should know this information. Amrinone, inocar, is used for short term therapy for CHF and acts by which of the following mechanisms? Option A. Increasing stroke volume and heart rate. Option B. Slowing ventricular rate and increasing cardiac output. Option C. Vasodilating and increasing peripheral vascular resistance. Option D. Increasing cardiac output and enhancing renal perfusion. Right answer is. Option A. Increasing stroke volume and heart rate. The action of amrinone, inocar, is to increase stroke volume, ejection fraction, and heart rate. Lenoxin, not amrinone. Slows ventricular rate and increases cardiac output. The vasodilator effect of amrinone decreases peripheral vascular resistance. Any increase in cardiac output will enhance renal perfusion. This is not just specific to amrinone. Before giving milrinone, primacar, by and for infusion to a client with symptoms of CHF, which of the following nursing actions is necessary? Option A. 
record sodium level. Option B. Administer loading dose over 15 minutes. Option C. Assess CV status. Option D. Review medication regimen to identify if client is on 4-furosemide, Lasex. Right answer is. Option D. Review medication regimen to identify if client is on 4-furosemide, Lasex. Milrinone, Primacar, is incompatible with 4-furosemide, Lasex, and many clients with CHF are taking furosemide. Assessing potassium, not sodium, is essential. Choice B is not done before administration but during administration. Assessment of CV status is not specific for milrinone and is indicated for any drug that affects the circulatory system. Johanna has ventricular ectopy. Which of the following drugs is the first line used to treat her condition? Option A. Quinidine, Cardiaquin. Option B. Dijoxin, Lenoxin. Option C. Procainamide, Pronestyle. Option D. Lidocaine, Xylocaine. Right answer is. Option D. Lidocaine, Xylocaine. Lidocaine is the only choice used to treat ventricular ectopy. A and C are class Ya antiarrhythmics. Dijoxin is a cardiac glycoside. Class Ya antiarrhythmic agents have little effect on. Option A. AV node. Option B. SA node. Option C. Purkinje fibers. Option D. Bundle of his. Right answer is. Option B. SA node. Class Ya antiarrhythmics have little effect on the SA node. When teaching about nitrate administration, the nurse should instruct the client to Option A. Change position slowly. Option B. Take pulse daily. Option C. Reduce salt intake. Option D. Chew the sustained release tablets. Right answer is Option A. Change position slowly. Clients taking nitrates should change position slowly to avoid orthostatic hypotension. It is not necessary to take the pulse before taking this drug. It is also not necessary to change the diet while taking this drug. It is contraindicated to choose sustained release tablets. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, ask in comment section and you like our video, then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.